Okay, so the first story we're going to cover is uh, kind of the biggest one this week, and that is we have just had the Ballon d'Or. So Messi has just won his eighth Ballon d'Or um, in his career. Uh, he just beat Haaland in second and Mbappe in third to the award. Um, so first of all, what, what do you think about Messi winning his eighth Ballon d'Or? I like Messi. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. But how is Haaland not winning with hmm. the amount of goals he scored? I mean, the MLS is not as competitive in any stretch as the Premier League or any league in Europe. So I'm not sure. I get that they won the World Cup, but yeah. Haaland got like 50 goals yeah. a year. I think like I, it's unheard of. What I've always found is when there's been a big tournament, World Cup, Euros, they're always like they always seem to be biased towards it. Like I remember, obviously, um, when Croatia got to the final, Luka Modric mm -hmm. won it, and and uh, Jorginho at the Euros. I didn't think he should have been anywhere near that award. I mean, he had a really good season, but no way he beat like you know some of the players below him to come second. I think he came in the end. Um, so yeah, they always seem to go. It's weird. They always seem to go like with a World Cup bias. It seems like that's kind of especially with FIFA. Maybe that's all. I kind of judge it on and then like whatever happens elsewhere mm. it's kind of secondary to that but yeah it's I don't mind Messi winning it because like I say at the World Cup he was super. I think it's and, more of a Messi-Ronaldo bias than a World Cup bias yeah uh, yeah there's that like as well Messi yeah. winning I mean I went to the camp mm. here and there's like this huge exhibit of all these Ballon d'Ors and stuff and it's like yeah. clearly like a massive it's part of his brand right yeah that's, that's what it's about and like you say it's players and people like that voting as well so they're gonna Oh, like Messi's well liked is you know so uh, I like him. Gonna, yeah. Don't get me no, wrong. I do as well. I'm, I'm a big fan of Messi over Ronaldo, but yeah, I'm same still like, same how in. can you get that many goals mm. a year and not win the Ballon d'Or? Yeah. It seems like I think for as long as Messi's playing, can, will anybody else win it now until he retires? It just seems a bit. Mm. Like, I, are I, they going to try yeah. and get him to ten Ballon d'Ors just so he's got ten? Do you know what no. I mean? Like, it's I, so I think I think he's personally, I think he's won his last one. But mm. the thing is, as well, it's kind of like this is. Start of November, uh, it was even October when uh, the award ceremony were. Um, so it's kind of like, oh, it seems like start of November to like the end of October, kind of how they're doing it. And obviously the World Cup were in that yeah, time frame Holland as well. also got that many goals in that time frame. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm not, I'm not disputing that at all. But I'm saying kind of like, it's kind of like it happened so early on in the year, but like recency biased, like Haaland's obviously scored all these goals, which to be fair, I'm, 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 I'm same as you, I think Haaland should have won. Um, but I'm just like saying what, you know, kind of how I feel or what's kind of gone through the minds with it because it's kind of been one of these things with his career, hasn't it? He's, he's, ne he's always done it for club but never for country. And then, like I say, he won the um, Copper America. America, that's the one. Um, he won back with Argentina and then obviously won the um, World Cup. So it's kind of like yeah. completed his career yeah. in a way. Um, and like I say, he had a superb World Cup. I think he got player at year. I think he won... He would have a tied four or won the golden boot. Um, and like I say, he just had such a superb World Cup. And kind of, it, it would, like when he won it, I kind of said like that's Ballon d'Or confirmed. But then you kind of forget the ceremony were just like a month before that for that year. So mm -hmm. um, yeah, if it were like right at the end of the year, he probably would have won it for that year. Although Ben team did have a fantastic year to win it. Um, I like so, it. So yeah, it's, um, I personally, like I say, I do think Haaland should have won. He's done it in... Probably the hardest league in the world, and in the and, Champions um, League as well, and in the Champions League, like you say. So he won um, the won the treble. Yeah, scored that many goals. It just seems strange to me. Yeah, I'm yeah, I'm, I'm weird. Like I say, I think Ireland should have won it, but I don't personally mind Messi winning it. In my like, no, I, I don't. It. I don't mind he it. He is but, the greatest of yeah. all time, but like, I feel like he's had his time a little yeah. bit. Like he's, he's, Billy Sharp's scored more goals than him in the MLS so far. Yeah, and it's just. I'd yeah. rather it be someone young than yeah. new, but that's yeah. just me liking new young talent. Yeah, oh no, yeah, definitely. Okay. Yeah, so maybe um, slaughter me for that. <laughs> yeah, maybe. But uh, well, it's our top opinions, aren't they? So um, yeah, let us know in the comments anyway. Who do you think should have won the Ballon d'Or? Do you agree with Messi winning it, or have you got anything else to say on this matter? Um, another thing I'm going to say is um, kind of obviously we're a top thirty vote. Um, an interesting one for me were Jude Bellingham. He got eighteen. What, what's your thoughts on that? Next year, he'll win it. Mm. I think this year, I mean, he's only really broken into like, mm. you know, a bigger European giant in Real Madrid this year, hasn't he? So, yeah. come next year, he'll have had a full season mm. there. I mean, he scored 10 in yeah. 10. So, if he keeps that form up going next yeah. year, he'll be a much better candidate. 
Yeah, I thought with Bellingham, he might have been a bit of a recency bias one because most of his best work has come in these last month, the last yeah, month that's or two. What I mean, um, give him so and um, people yeah. like in football, we I mean we all know like people have short memories in football. It's like it's like in management, like you can like lose three games in a row and everyone can be calling for a manager's head and then suddenly they'll win like the next two games and they'll be worshipping mm-hmm. again. Um so I thought it'd be kind of like that for Bellingham, I thought. But um yeah, like I say, he still had a really good season with Dalton. Uh, but then, like I say, he's um, not as prolific though as he is now. Really. No, no, of course not. No, but yeah, um, but I think, yeah, yeah. If England win the Euros, they'll win the Ballon d'Or definitely. Oh yeah, 100%. like you were saying, that yeah. performance in it. Um, the, but there's been so few English winners that mm. like, you do wonder if they ever will be more. Mm. Yeah, I, I can see it. I can see it. I know obviously there is bias when it comes to voting with FIFA and stuff like that. Mm. Um, but like I say, if he's carries on doing what he is doing at Madrid at the minute. I don't think there's going to be any question. I think the fact that he's at Madrid and not in the Premier League is in his favour as well. Mm. Yeah. I, I'm always a big... Like no one from the Premier League ever wins the Ballon I'm always a big fan of that as well. Because you'll notice it like Kane and Kane Bellingham, better. Sancho yeah. when he were over at, Dor- uh, at Dortmund. The press stay away from him. Like, look at Maguire and players like that. Um, and like good English players. They're in, um, <laughs> in the Premier League. They just get crucified. Because... Even Rashford at the yeah. minute. Yeah. Sterling. I mean, Sterling... Um, you know, it's whereas like like say being abroad, you've not got obviously you're doing well, so you have got that attention on you, but you've not got like the press following you around, around and yeah, how gonna say? Mm. Um I put something more players should do it. I think it's the best thing for yeah, you to get out of line like um Kieran Trippier as well. Yeah, he had and, some time um, has come back and yeah. Tammy Abrams, I mean, he's scoring for fun at Roma and he couldn't get anywhere near Chelsea squad and people you know, who were just saying they weren't good enough. So um yeah, it's um like I say, I don't think I think Bellingham will be up there. I think, like I say, Harland will be up there again. Bellingham, and Kane, if he keeps Kane, playing away, yeah, I'm gonna say. It's but better, like say, again, if we win the Euros, an English press off his back. It's well, you know, it's, it's, it's got a trick, didn't he? Last week, scored from his own half as well. Yeah, so I've never seen him do that. He's always been his own say. half, but I've never seen him score from that. Yeah, yeah. So like, it's gonna be gonna be an interesting one next year. But yeah, pretty interesting results to be fair. Um, like I say, Mbappe as well. He's another one who did. Superb at the World Cup. Um, it was kind of messy versus Mbappé in the final. Can't handle Dan um, Burn though, can he? No, of course not. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the reason he didn't. But um, <laughs> he didn't I'm going to say another one with World Cup. Um, he won't be far off getting his first. No, I'm going to say it's it's going to be interesting with Harlem, Bellingham, and Mbappé. They're going to be like I say the next few years. They're they're the three, and then you've got like Vinicius Junior and mm, players like that. They were going to be Phil Foden, didn't they? But that doesn't seem to have mm. happened. Yeah, I think. I think Pet Roulette's kind of... Yeah, not built. consistent yeah. enough. Yeah. yeah, but... Yeah, I was going to say, that's um, an interesting talk on Ballon d'Or because it is always one... Like I say, especially when you've got other players there. I don't know about you, well. but it always sneaks up on me. Mm. Like, I, 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 I never remember when it is. And then <laughs> suddenly it's on the news. Because usually what we do is we narrow it down to like a final 30, don't we? Which is what we did this year. And I thought when we said that, that's what we were doing. But um, no, it just... Like I said, they had nothing about it until like the day before, and then here we are, but yeah.